I used to give God ultimatums. I said, God, if you don't, then I won't. If you don't show up right now. <laughs> I'll never forget, my father, my father, this is, I can laugh about it. You know, you got to get cold and tight about it, right? I'll never forget, my father passed away right, as a teenager, um, high school, freshman. Uh, and, and I remember sitting on my bed, tears in my eyes. And I, I had come to some kind of semblance of understanding of the fact, you know, he, he's gone. Like, I, I'm not one of those, you know, crying. I didn't cry over the casket or nothing. I just, just you know, just, right, he's gone, right? But I said this to God, or I started to say this to God. I said, God, if you don't tell me why you took him, then I, and I got I out of my mouth. And true as I'm standing here right now, I ain't see nobody. I know my mother's voice does not reach this lower register. I heard a voice as audible as my voice is right now say, then what? <laughs> and I, th I thought about that day. Because I had the plan in my mind. I was like, yo, if you don't tell me why he's gone, then I promise I'm going to give up all this. I was going to say that. I was going to say, I promise. If you don't tell me why he's gone, then I'm going to walk out on you. And God never let me get to that point because he realized that even though I was speaking out of anger, I would put myself in a position that would change the way I live my life for the rest of my life. So before I had the opportunity to say something I was going to regret to him, God said, let me check you for a second there, Junior, because what you fail to understand is that life and death are both in my grip and both in my power. Not a single one of them goes to work without me signing their check. In order for life to spring forth, they got to get the okay from me. In order for death to consume life, it has to get the okay from me. I don't understand if you understand where I'm coming from. If I don't tell you then what? It is my glory to conceal a matter. It's your glory to seek it out. But you ain't going to put me on no auction block and tell me that I better speak when you desire for me to speak because I'm Lord over everything and you, my friend, are absolutely not. Now, whenever does a son disrespect the father? Whenever does a child disrespect the parent? He said, you better learn your place real quick, sir. And I was angrier in that moment because I said, hold on, I'm humbled right now. I'm not going to continue that thought. But in real talk, who did he think he is? What kind of answer is that? Then what? Why? God's not supposed to speak like that. God's supposed to come with a message of love and encouragement. And I'm supposed to feel warm and fuzzy like I just drank some hot syrup from IHOP. I'm supposed to feel good on the inside. What does God think he's doing? And God said, no, no, no. Because if you were to get the answer to this question right now, it would be an answer that you would not like. And it would short circuit your ability to be uh, uh, obligated to me would short circuit your ability to serve me for the rest of your life. God said, I have plans in store for you. The reason being that I will not give you this answer right now, because if I gave it to you, what would you do with it? <laughs> 